All right, guys, in this episode of Dockside TV, we're going to take this new Matrix strip that we designed. All we had when we shot this episode was uh, the prototype, which was just a white. But this particular lure, we're offering it in a, it's a very small shrimp. If you were going to put it on a count size, it'd probably be a 60 count. We made this to sight fish sheephead, and we'll go over that in later Dockside TVs. But in this particular episode, we were on a nice school of speckled trout. We put it on a Carolina rig and did very well with it. As you can see with this bait, one of the key ingredients to our design that kind of separates this lure is that we made a very fat tail. That way when it pulls through the water, the tail thumps up and down. It's really cool, very awesome bait. And we won the star in the sheephead division with this lure a while back and if you can fake out a sheep head with plastic that just tells you how lifelike of a lure this is this is going to be in your matrix bait box subscription box for this month and watch how effective this lure is catching speckled trout carolina rig and lake pontchartrain i hope you enjoyed this episode of dockside tv and make sure to subscribe to your matrix bait box and get your hands on this shrimp before anybody else does Hey, Captain Chris here with uh, Matrix Shad. What we're doing, what we're doing today, we're out in Lake Pontchartrain. It's the middle of January, and we're doing some test runs on some new baits that's supposed to be coming out. Right now, we're looking at the little Matrix shrimp that we got right now. We're getting ready to Carolina rig it here in the lake, and let's see if we can catch a few trout on it. So this is the initial test run in January 2020 on the Matrix shrimp. So let's see what we can do with it. Get it on down. Let's see. Big, beautiful sixteen inch trout. Pretty color on him. We're throwing the new Matrix shrimp. Clear in color. And they are gobbling it up. You know, the action on this shrimp, uh, you know, most most baits that you get, you know, you know, different type of shrimp baits that you get, they're stiff, very stiff, uh, you know, in the in the water. And sometimes it doesn't matter. But a lot of times you need that finesse. You need that. You need that tail. Look how that tail's wiggling on it. You need that little paddle tail to create the vibration. It already looks like a shrimp. You know, this time of the year we're dealing with white shrimp um, that's in the lake, and they're not going to be that big, so they're small, right? So we just downsized our bait once again. Uh, got it on a Carolina rig, about 18 inches. Let it flutter in the current, uh, and they scooping it up. It's a big, beautiful, solid trout for this time of the year. All right, so the way we got this rigged up is a big one ounce bank sinker, Carolina rig, and this little shrimp that's on a very light weedless hook. There he is. Yeah. Another nice trout. As you can see there, I was 
rolling that bait back behind the boat. That's how we used to fish live shrimp with a Carolina rig. And we're fishing a real hard current right now of like Pontchartrain. So we got this artificial prototype matrix shrimp here. And we're just simply Carolina rigging it by lifting that big egg sinker up off the bottom. And then just letting the shrimp flutter with the current. I'll show you how we're doing it here. Just short little cast because it's pretty deep and the current's moving pretty hard. And then once it hits the bottom, I'm just slowly picking it up. A lot of people call this the rucker rig when you fish it with plastic. Very effective way to fish in deep water with a heavy current. And this little plastic shrimp, what we did is we took a very similar approach with the shrimp body as a lot of artificial shrimps have right now. But what we did is we, instead of letting the tail come to a tapered end, we, we got the tail where it's, it's really fat down on the bottom, creating water resistance and friction when it moves, given that tail is gonna, it flaps up and down when you pull it, you know, through the water. So it's got a nice, nice action. This is the product that, this is the prototype that we won, that I won the CCA on sight fish and sheephead, won the sheephead division. So that's what it's really geared for, the reason we wanted to design it. But we're trying to showcase that it's gonna be effective in a lot of different situations especially Carolina rigging right here. It's on a very light weedless hook, so you gotta put it on a Carolina rig. This thing's also gonna be deadly underneath a cork. And Captain Chris has been catching them all day with it right here beside me in him and Steven's boat. It's a lot harder to feel the bites when you're fishing these big Carolina rigs. You know, right there, I just went to lift up on it and there was weight. It's just a totally different style of fishing. Nice fish. You know, this is something that I learned from my friend John years ago is you fish with a big leader, a long leader. That's probably almost 30 inches. That way that egg sinker, her bank sinker is gonna hit the bottom and it gives that lure a lot of play. Look how we choked that prototype down of that matrix shrimp on a real solid two pound trout here. I'm really, this is the first time we put these to test for trout. I'm really excited to see that it's holding up good and it's catching some fish and it's gonna have multiple species of fish you can target with this. Solid fish. Oh, another solid, beautiful fish. So, again, you know, we're using the prototype lures. Uh, and, you know, you would think that you wouldn't get to use them in January. You know, it's probably the last time of the year you want to use them. But, fishing have been pretty good in the lake. It's still pretty good. And as you 
as you can see. You're either catching one or you're missing one right now. One solid fish. Another one for the box. Finish it off our limit. Big, beautiful. Perfect size Z in speckle trout, Lake Country Train speckle trout, man. On the Matrix Shads, on the shrimp, the, the shrimp that's coming in 2020. We got that coming. Uh, we use Tiger Bait today and Ultraviolet. All love them, produced beautiful fish. And I'm just so excited that the prototype is producing fish. So now that we know in January if he's catching, you can imagine in April, in May, in June. All right, we're gonna go ahead and end it right there on another pretty trout on that Matrix Prototype Shrimp. It'll be coming out soon. Make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box as that'll, those will be the first people to get some samples of this prototype. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV, testing out prototypes again. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and until next time, good fishing.